The land question. It continues to be a hot topic in South Africa following an EFF-sponsored motion in Parliament for a constitutional amendment to enable expropriation of land without compensation. The motion won by 241 votes in favour and just 83 against. But some parties remain opposed to it. Yesterday, the Freedom Front Plus unveiled a plan to conduct a round of high-level consultations on expropriation. The party says entrusting government with owning all the property in the country can only be bad for the economy. Voter Vessels is one of the party's MPs, and he joins us now to elaborate on the party's stance. Voter, thanks very much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, the, the land expropriation move seriously does seem to have rattled the working relationship between the EFF and the DA. Uh, wh where does the, the, the Freedom Front Plus stand on the, on the matter? Well, what we are saying is that uh, South Africans must uh, take into account the adverse effect that the principle of expropriation without compensation will have on the economy and will have on property rights of all South Africans. Currently, certain political parties, including the EFF and the ANC, is populist about land and the whole ownership and the whole expropriation without compensation uh, question. They are not actually telling the truth about the matter. This opens the gate to nationalization of land. It opens the gate for government and the government of the day, which can change every five years, to decide who owns land. We cannot have an insta instable uh, situation in South Africa where there is no certainty about land ownership and property ownership. Because expropriation without compensation does not only affect agricultural land, it affects suburban property and it affects all movable and immovable assets when one goes and looks into the Expropriation um, Act that is currently um, in, in Parliament and that, was, uh, that, that needs the signature by the President. Yeah. Uh, you, you basically say that, that all South Africans are going to be adversely affected by losing their property rights. W what do you mean by this? How is it going to adversely affect all South Africans? Well, firstly, let's look at the economy and the financial impact thereof. How will banks and the bank sector be affected by expropriation without compensation? Most property in South Africa is bonded property. Um, agricultural property alone is nearly 200 billion rand in bonds at the moment. The government does not have the money to, um, to refund or to fund that expropriation with regards to um, the bonds that's on that property. So also using the argument to say that expropriation without compensation is necessary because government does not have the money to compensate um, current landowners with regards to land reform is also invalid because banks will have to be compensated or are we moving towards a direction where banks are also nationalized? Mm, and mm. Uh, we have to take a stance against that type of policies that have failed across the world globally. And we are moving backwards and not forward in South Africa when we have that type of thinking. Yeah. If we want to eradicate poverty, if we want to eradicate inequality, we have to grow the economy. Losing property rights will not grow the economy. It creates policy uncertainty, which is not conducive for an investing environment. And uh, it will uh, be devastating towards foreign trade relations and towards domestic inv investments. And at the end of the day, no person will be certain if he will have property tomorrow because the government can willy-nilly decide you are not uh, you you can't own this property anymore because you give the prop the, the government um the deciding factor when there is this type of when the gate opens towards expropriation without compensation okay. government but, can decide who owns property and who does not but voter let, let's ask this question it, it it is a historical fact that land was taken um uh, from the original owners of this land. How, according to the Freedom Front Plus, should the wrongs of the past be corrected? Well, let's go and look at land reform projects. Why has 90% thereof failed? Not because of compensation. 
that's, that's uh, involved with regards to those projects, but because of incompetence of government and corruption of government. How much land is currently in, in the possession of government? How many uh, land reform projects are there that is currently unproductive and that is currently does not have any owners or um, any, any uh, beneficiaries? That should be addressed. And then secondly, it's a myth that owning land makes you rich. That's, that's not true in a modern economy. And then also, um, to, to, to address the wrongs of the past, we cannot say that land was stolen by one group because it's a much more complicated history than that. Then we must go back and say, who's the actual original owners of the land? And where do we then stop? Uh, mm. Africa is the cradle of humankind, so go, do we go back to the, to the actual prehistoric um, uh, humans? Where do we stop? We should move forward and not uh, try to correct history. We should try and correct the present yeah. and focus on the future. I think it's hard. Uh, it, it this is country has a beautiful future and it's, it's, it's not limited to land. It's, it's the, the future of this country is dependent on a modern economy yeah. and sharing and actually um, enlarging the economy so that everybody can benefit from Vote, it. Vote, it's very easy for you to say that. I mean, it is, and it is easy for the leaders of the Freedom Front Plus to say that as well. Having land gives you opportunities. Having land gives you the right to your ancestors. It gives you the right to perhaps try and make a living and not be living on the streets with absolutely nowhere to go, knowing that you do have land. I mean, you cannot possibly sit there and tell me that if that land is yours and you deserve it and you have the proof and evidence that you are not entitled to some portion of that land, you cannot tell me that. Who's, who's entitled to the land and what is being done with that land? It doesn't help that, that we, we create a Zimbabwe situation where everybody has a piece of land, but there's famine in the country, there's no food security in the country, and there's no economy left. Um, that, that's, that's complete backwards thinking. Um, if, if we want to move forward and actually eradicate the problems that we have in South Africa, we need to focus on the future, and we cannot say that this person does not rightfully own his property. Um, I didn't inherit any land. Um, I bought the property in a, su a suburban area that I'm currently living in. Uh, it's actually the banks, it's not my, my own. But uh, now is somebody going to come and take that just because of the color of my skin? Where do we stop? Who benefited and who did not benefit? We cannot have that type of thinking. We need to move forward. Look at okay. other countries that were in similar situations. Um, look at China, look at, look at other countries, look at Japan is a, is, a, is a beautiful example thereof. Where, where the economy was grown and where redress was not, not in the form of um, reform, but actually in the form of growing the economy so that everybody that was disadvantaged at yeah. the stage in their country as well okay. could benefit at that stage. All right, Voter, we've got to leave it. It's 8 o'clock here on the program. We thank you for thank your you so opinions. Thanks for talking to us. Voter Vessels is a member of Parliament for the Freedom Front Plus, talking to us about what is essentially an ongoing discussion in the country regarding land expropriation without compensation. Morning Live uh, will continue to engage with different viewpoints, including yours, the viewer. At Morning Live SABC, we would love to hear from you.